organizing this event. I'm really thankful that we can all be here today. And I personally feel that uh, sometimes you feel awkward. Like for me, I realize that uh, awkward as in when I see you, I don't know whether I should shake your hands or should I fist bump you or should I elbow bump you. Uh, I guess that's the, that's the new norm now and we have to live with it. I mean, in, in reality, when, when all these things happen, I guess the world was trying to fight against the virus in hopes of like somehow killing it. Or, but somewhere along the path, we realize we make peace and there's no way but to work around it. And I think as a global community, we have realized that and we have reached to that point. So having said all that, even for cybersecurity, we are trying our best right now and things have not been easy for all of us. I can assure you that our researchers are working really hard, our developers are working really hard as you know cyber criminals are taking this to their best advantage to they are spikes in attacks, they are scamming people harmlessly, they are taking this opportunity to inject payload and it's, it's just a very bad time for everyone. But uh, I hope that our company can continue, our screen researchers, our developers will work much even harder to make sure all of you and everyone is safe in the cyberspace. Okay, uh, I'm really happy once again to have all of you here to, to teach, uh, catch up. I really look forward to chat with every one of you and I hope that all of you have fun and we can have many more events to come. Alright, thank you very much everyone. Thank you.
I want to share something uh, personal because I feel like um, I haven't. I'll be very honest. This is my second show in the entire year. It is my second show in the entire year because there there has been no shows, right? Uh, so I just want to find out how. Hello. Yeah. Mike. Actually, if I speak here, Mike can hear. Yeah. 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 Yes. Hey, informal, right? <laughs> yes. Same problem. You got the same problem. So we just, uh, let's just leave it on the mic. Uh. I'll try this one. Okay, okay. Wow, you know what? In a normal show, uh, I would be so scared and so upset when the mic doesn't work. But I'm like, oh my god, I miss all these things. I miss holding a microphone in my hand. <laughs> so, uh, did you guys have a good like lockdown period? Did you guys have a start? Some of some, I know some friends. Who like they were like, oh man, my life became positive. I was like meditating every day. I gained so much knowledge. So, okay, good for that. But I, not for me. I just want to find out. Those of you who have like a a nice lockdown time, just give me a, a clap or a cheer or some sound. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Those of you that uh, didn't do so well during the lockdown, can I hear a big sign? Uh, okay. So I am in the sign group. Okay. <laughs> I uh, learned a lot. Let me share the most important thing I learned, okay? I'll be honest again. Today, coming out, performing for you all, since the start of 2020, this is the second time I am wearing long pants. <laughs> and it feels very strange, you know? And I learned something with the lockdown. Because I was home for many, many months, at least like five, six months, I never left the house. I was just wearing my home clothes. I learned uh, this very interesting thing about laundry, okay? I realized if you stop washing your clothes for many months, right? For some reason, when you wear it, it's very tight. <laughs> I don't know why laundry behaved that way. I am not sure. Or maybe it's just me. Uh, uh, I did put on some weight. I experienced something with my, my body during the lockdown. I never thought was possible, okay? I experience the sight of my body when I sit down can touch my thighs. <laughs> Do you understand what that means or not? Okay? It means that you're smart. Okay, so uh, I feel very shy because there's some uh, young people here. But for the guys, I'm sure you can relate. Okay? For us guys, as we age and we grow more guts, you know, we become more gutsy people. Usually, um, the way we wear our underwear is very different. Okay, this is education for you. Oh. <laughs> for us, for us, gutsy people, usually what they do is you put on the underwear, you must pull the underwear very high. Because throughout the day, as you go on, it starts to slide down on the floor. If this, you never know this thing happen, right? <laughs> for us guys, it will start to slide, you pull very high, it starts to slide down. Do it back now. I just at home wear underwear, okay? <laughs> I reach a new level, you know. <laughs> my underwear, when I walk on, it is slide down. It, but then, you know, it flip. The underwear give up, you know. <laughs> Just give up. Oh my god, that was a bad feeling. That was a wake up call for me. Every time I walk past the mirror, I look at myself, I ask all the informal person in life, you know, like, why? Why like this? Who can I You know? And like, I then realized that this, this is, this, there is one telltale sign that for us gutsy people, uh, it's very easy for you to stop right there. Because when your article is tight and it flips or it's side down, no very comfortable anymore. You should be the triangle or the possibly not comfortable. The most comfortable, I've done my research because not now time I shop online a lot. The most comfortable underwear that you can wear as a large man is boxes. Not boxer green, but boxes. Do you know what boxer is? <laughs> okay, just to explain, boxers are like small pants in the big pants. <laughs> okay? They are small pants in the big pants. But the problem is because they are small pants, they got like a leg sleeve, right? They are leg sleeve. And when you wear your big pants over it, then it's like sleeve on sleeve. And when you walk, usually you walk up it, the sleeve will go upstairs. <laughs> this is where we big people have to make a move that is very shameful that once I show you, you cannot stop seeing it everywhere you go. Okay? 
I'm just I'm just that laughing like I'm sure you know it. Okay, you see that? Okay, you see that? I'm gonna walk that direction. You see if you can stop the magic move around. One two one two. You saw the run. You saw the run. I I show my expression to you. You don't see it. I walk outside. Oh, what is that? That move is very important too. Because that move released the Kraken, you know? <laughs> this is what I learned during lockdown. But then, as you know, when we start to, the, the MCO, we like to be more, go out a bit, maybe sometimes I go out and have a coffee or something. I then realized another problem, okay? When you wear boxes outdoors, especially in Malaysia, it's a humid country, no air power. Sometimes, you sweat. And when you sweat, you go upstairs, you won't come downstairs. <laughs> okay? So then, this is where I realized that we have to make the more shameful move. The move is this. <laughs> it's very subtle, huh? This is this one, it's only like this. Oh, I see one time free and then it comes out. So that's, that's what I, I, <laughs> I've learned. But another, I want to share something. A personal story of mine during the lockdown, um, because we were all trapped at home. Uh, my sister, my younger sister, she lives in the UK. So she uh, had a baby. She had a baby. And before the pandemic, my family we were supposed to go over and celebrate and be with her. But because of this, we can't travel. My sister is stuck in the UK with her husband and the baby. My mom, who is a first time grandma, is stuck here. So what we did for her was, we, we celebrated in um, her mother's place. So basically my grandma's house. In my grandma's house, there's a lot of auntie and uncle. A lot of my, my grandma and my grandpa is there. So my mom, on the day that my sister did birth, she became a nanny already. We went to my grandma's house and I want to tell you about my grandma. My grandma is the sweetest, nicest lady. She has never once in my life pressured me about a relationship, never. Every Chinese meal I go there, she give me a car and say like, oh, you today very fat already, that's all. <laughs> Nothing about like, you know, life or anything. But then it start to change. Because we went to my grandma's house. And don't forget, this is locked down. We have nowhere to run. Eh? We are there in my grandma's house, and all my auntie and uncle are teasing my mom. Wow, you go nene, guys, you go nene, you go over the nene, nene. Everybody is passing over my mom except my grandma. My grandma, she is very old on the water. I see her in the corner of the room. She, her eyes are uh, blue on me. Okay? She's blue on me. And then I just like pretend to look. Next thing I know, she's beside me. She pulled my hand on very tight and she pulled me to her face, you know, and the grandma breath I can smell. You know, she, she said to me, huh? Chen Han, your sister really got baby. Why don't you go out and find out? <laughs> Think of what she said, huh? Why don't you go out and find out? And she means I find a girlfriend, find a wife, you know. So then I'm like, of course. You want me to just go out and find one? How? That doesn't exist. I can't just go out and go, you! You know, I cannot, right? So my grandma, she eventually, she, she let me know. I am now scared because it never happened to my life. But my grandma, she level up. Because after dinner, I'm sitting on the couch, I'm watching TV. Okay? But from the corner of my eye, I see one old lady on the walker. <laughs> For all that I can see. And it's like a horror film, you know, because I, it's like slow motion. I'm watching, I purposely don't look that way. She is there. But I can hear uh, the walker coming up. Like what used to be the sweetest lady in the land, now she is like a ghost, you know, like ghost coming to me. Okay, my grandma's alive, she's a pre-ghost. The pre-ghost is like floating to like, I mean, yeah, look, she's beside me again. And her level two, she goes, ah, Jenhan, you better go and find your wife, lah. Your mother is lonely. <laughs> what is this logic, grandma? See, in my head, I'm thinking like, my mother lonely, if I find wife, what does that help? It's not like I said, mommy, I found a wife for you. you know? hey. But I know that she was smart enough to realize that her argument was very weak, right? Because my grandma, according to my uncle and auntie, my, they say my grandma is very smart. I don't know if this happens in your family, but in my family, whenever um, my uncle and auntie, they talk about their parents, meaning like they talk about my grandma, they always talk about... Okay, never mind. They always talk about older people uh, like they are some genius. But my uncle and auntie uh, would have discussions, you know. Hey, you know what? Today, uh, mother was watching TV, uh, she remembered the character, you know, she's like a great, very sharp. How is that? That's like basic TV watching, you know. My mother, my mother, my newspaper, you know, he tell me the reason. Frankly,
power, right? So I know my grandma is quite smart, she realized the argument is weak, right? So I smiled at her and I ha ha, I walked away. <laughs> Before we left, oh, she came with the highest level, I never imagined it possible. She came to me with walkers, she didn't even stick, she came to me straight. She, she stand in front of me, she like, Jen Han, Jen Han, you better, in Chinese like she said to me, but she said, Jen Han, you better go and find someone fast. Her boy is going to die. <laughs> and at that moment, I felt very sad. Because she brought mortality into this film. Like she reminded me that time is very cruel. That time to move on and not wait for anybody. She looked at me in a sad face, puppy eye, big eye, like a glassy eye. She said, her boy is going to die soon. Then I felt sad. But then I looked at her face. This ghost face, wrinkled face, got 70 hair left, all white color. And I realized that she's playing a chess game with me and I cannot lose. So what I did was I tell her, Popo, in that case I won't fight anyone and Popo will never die! <laughs> Thank you very much for having me here. I really appreciate it.